that right there was instant IR blind image restoration with instant generation reference it seemed like this was made by the Chinese user University of Hong Kong instant X team and Peking University so a lot of universities and colleges made this shout out to the colleges because we wouldn't have this without y'all but this seems pretty cool look at this close-up of this wolf I'm gonna show you the before where it's all blurred out now check out the after that is so crazy I want you to take a look at like the flower how you could even not even see the flower barely and then with the IR instant IR you can see the flower even look at the eyes almost like it's like a totally different color but it just definitely adds like a little bit more crispness and color to the eyes even the fur like this is this is crazy how well it did look at the snout it's like you can even tell it's like wet a little bit this is actually crazy you can even see little snowflakes and like the fur a little bit and as you see there's like a before and after of the left side being the blurry and the after being the instant IR with it being restored using AI which is absolutely crazy if you ask me now the one to the right as you see right now it's like really blurred out but as you move it across you see how crisp this is it's like <laughs> ultra high definition how crazy good that is it has literally like more detail in this thing than you would have thought like you can't even like make it out within the blur like for example in the blur at the top you don't even you can barely even see the words but afterwards you can definitely tell there's some writing on there but look at the base this is the before the base now check out the after the base the base there you can actually see the little details that there are writing in that and for the ai to be able to pick that up and actually put the writing on there is absolutely is absolutely crazy but not only that like look at the statues themselves it gives so much character and depth to the actual statues with even like the clothing how it's more ruffly and like more reflective light it says instant ir reevaluates your broken images producing extreme detail left and realistic textures right so that's what it's basically doing just giving more like, information so it says instant ir actively aligns the condition encoding with the jury of prior this is achieved by novel previewing mechanism with three key modules DCP for compact LQ image representation encoding, previewer for decoding it into generative prior and an aggregator for integrating the generative reference and LQ input sampling conditions. <clears throat> so instant IR is basically taking a snapshot of like the blurry image and then it starts fixing the blurry in image. But as it goes along fi fixing the blurry image, it looks back at the snapshot it took earlier to make sure that it's in line with what is going on with the overall image instead of it just randomly t guessing pixel by pixel and trying to clear it up it's having the context of the image and it tries to keep it in line with the image that it's changing and so it keeps on doing it and so i you can also add inputs for the uh, image to help it out so like let's say you want to change something about it so to make it actually more clear but if you want to have like a sunset or maybe it's like in a at night and it's in the shade or something like that in a sunny day you're going to add those type of inputs in to help out the you know image be restored better so here are some sample outputs real world image restoration instant rr is able to recover rich and realistic textures details and real world degradation images so as you see here in the top left you see like there's a dude and or a couple guys in the military and they're like getting better and better but i think you can tell that they are like being restored but as you see down here they're by different models so the one to the far left is lq and it doesn't seem like it's doing too much to make the image like any better honestly but as you see right here to the real ESR GAN <laughs> okay it still doesn't do too much better but it is a little bit like clearer but it gets real better at stable SR especially with the statues but the statues look a lot better less blurry but you don't see as much detail like if you look at the vases not as much detail even when you look at the soldiers and like their faces 
they're still like kind of weird and warped looking. It doesn't look kind of as real. It does pretty good at the underwater, um, but it doesn't do as well with like the later models. Like Co SER, same thing, a little bit better with the faces, but it's still some blurriness as like you've seen the middle boxes where you see like the soldiers and everything. Also, the statues, they are getting a little bit better with the details, but it's not the best as of now. And you can see like where they are messing up with like the kind of excerpts right above the photo. Um, but it still doesn't do too bad, but you can still see where in Instant IR and Soup IR does a lot better. But you can definitely see Instant IR, look at the soldiers, look at their faces, looks a lot better. There is still some distortion like within the weapons they're using. Um, but like the statue, you can definitely see there's more detail, even with the face in the statues. But this is still amazing. Like if you have a blurry photo and you can get it this clear just by dropping it in instant IR, it can do a lot better. And so that was a comparison across soda models. LQ stands for a low quality input. And so this is the text guided creative restoration I was saying. So although Instant IR is not explicitly trained on text image pair data, it demonstrates interesting text editing ability, which is featured by manipulating derivative references with textual descriptions. So it says, as you see in the very leftmost picture of the flower, it says cherry blossom in the middle, where it was blurry, now adds more description where it's cherry blossoms and it looks a little bit more like cherry blossoms. But if you add in the prompt pink rose, it makes them a little bit more pinker and you could tell like they look a little bit more like roses and they do like cherry blossoms and now down below with the rabbit you see in the very left one is very blurry but once you add in the prompt the rabbit it makes it a lot more clear and it has a rabbit in there then it has piggy as you see <laughs> with the one to the far right it makes it a pig it, like it's very clear but you can definitely tell it's a face of a pig credit restoration following text prompts. You also have a place where you can test this out on Hugging Face if you want to test out the different models. So if you see down here, they do have some already. Like they have the one with the dog, the one with the statue. They also have some other ones, like the one of Naruto. And you know I gotta test out Naruto. So you see up here, it already has Naruto. Looks a little blurry. Let's see what happens when you put this deny our magic. So it says basic usage, upload an image if you want to restore, optimally tune the steps, CFG scale, parameters, typically higher steps lead to better results, but less than 50 is recommended for efficiency. Click instant IR magic. And so that's what we're doing. And as you see with the steps, it's already loading, it's almost already done, but it's 26 out of 27 and it goes to 30 steps. Let's see how well this Naruto photo comes out and it looks pretty good like really good if you look at the left one and you look at the instant rr one that it looks amazingly good it looks a lot more clear than it was like it's like high definition like if you watch anime and you know that like the anime episodes look really good but when they have like the movies the theatrical releases they like step it up a notch with the animation so the one to the left looks like a normal anime naruto episode but the one to the right looks like well movie quality anime i'm gonna put a prompt in just to see how it works out i'm gonna put angry naruto you know what i'm put sexy naruto and put instant ir magic Let's see what it gives us oh wow I did all the steps already. So as you see, it's going to zero steps or one through 30 steps, but it's going pretty fast. Like this all took less than like a minute to complete. Okay, that did not seem to do anything. <laughs> I guess they're saying Naruto is already sexy enough, right? This is all pretty cool. But if you want to play around more with it, there are limitations to what you can do within the hugging face. But if you want to play around with it, you can log in or create an account to get more uses out of this. But this is working really well. It's not perfect as you saw with that Naruto. That Naruto's eyes kind of wasn't like a line anymore. It was like two different pupils. But it kind of makes sense to have that just because it's like 
well, what is Naruto? <laughs> like, what kind of eyes is that? It's not a normal human eye. The AI is probably thinking, like, hey, most eyes have, like, dots instead of lines, like goats or something. But it did pretty well. If you want to try this out, I'll leave some links down in the description so you can play around with it. But with that being said, your boy Dex9Dexter, out.